hello so you are ready to jump into the power query editor and clean this uh, file so our aim is to connect this uh, folder where we will be inserting the uh, files every day and then cleaning the uh, reports and getting the data out of it and making some paper tables and charts on a blank workbook you just uh, go on the data tab then in the get data from folder and then it will open a dialog box allowing us to uh, locate the folder from our computer and then load into the power query so this is uh, what we get when we uh, click on uh, from folder and then we locate the folder so here it is and simply click ok once connected where our source uh, raw data files are and on this window click on transform data there could be if you are using previous versions there will be uh, added instead of transform data so click on edit if you see added instead of transform data it will load into uh, the power query editor and uh, we have to uh, uh, consider a few steps here so first of all we have to filter out the extensions so for example if somebody puts a pdf file in that folder so we don't want it into our query so simply uh, instead of doing checking and unchecking in here use the text filters so it will basically validate the things instead of checking in here because if somebody puts an adobe photoshop uh, file so uh, uh, currently there is none uh, like that so we don't need we just want uh, our files to be in excel files so xls are xls x don't forget the dot and click ok so now anything that is not an xls or xls x file it will be filtered out second filter i am going to apply is uh, to the name of the file so that it's something that is not are uh, relevant file if you are sure uh, that nobody else are going to uh, insert any sort of other files you can leave these steps but to just make sure that whatever uh, uh, is inserted in that folder is filtered out if it is irrelevant so i am going to use the another filter so if somebody else inserts even an excel file which does not contain uh, in its name product mix by interval i don't want it so once done with the filtering this is an optional step but it is very important when you are doing with large data sets so once done with it simply click on this combine files button on the content column it will ask us uh, to choose a sample file which uh, we will choose and then it will load the data into our query which we will later clean so i am choosing the first file and then the sheet and simply pressing ok so now it will fetch all the data from those files and load into the query which we will then clean it up so that uh, uh, our um, uh, uh, report looks proper if you notice power query is just listing down the steps we are creating for example 
first one is source the second one is filtered rows and another one is filtered rows and now the power query has brought us the information so here comes the transformation part which we'll be doing there is absolutely nothing complicated i'll keep it very very simple so that you could just follow with your mouse you don't have to enter any formulas at the moment i am just going to remove this product mix by interval because i need date from this column this is the name column of the file so i want to fetch the date of the report so first i'll just split it by delimiter by the dot by the rightmost and choose custom and then so what it will do is it will just separate the extension from uh, the file name which i don't need and then i'll just right click again and replace values i want to get rid of this product mix by interval and then go like that so it just got rid of the text now i want to replace another value i want to replace the hyphens with the slash so that it converts it to date it didn't convert automatically you just click on the abc button and the data type button you can do it from the home tab as well just select the column and choose the appropriate uh, type so once done uh, let's move on to the other columns so here as you can see my time starts in 1 2 3 4 5 6 rows so i'll uh, simply go and remove rows remove top rows and six because i don't need the first six rows i'll just remove them off then i want my time to repeat i want my time to repeat simply i'll select and right click and fill down so it will fill the, all the information in the cells down so now on this column i don't need anything that is item or subtotal or null so my aim is anything that is not product i want to just filter it out so i will simply unselect nulls item and subtotal so now i only have products on this column this is my uh, this is my quantity column i want to keep it and then here i don't need to do anything else i just have to select the columns which i want to keep you can do the other way around uh, for example the columns you can select which you don't need but doing it the other way around like selecting the columns which you want to keep is a better approach because if there is somebody adds another column which is irrelevant in the final report uh, uh removing it uh, the other way around will keep it but uh, uh, doing it this way for example i just selected all those columns which i need i will just simply click and remove other columns so what it will do is it will always keep these columns and remove anything else which uh, is irrelevant now i only have to just uh, rename the columns this is my date this is time this is product names this is quantity and this is price and the next one is amount and this is percentage so i have just changed the column headers and now i want to do a little transformation more this is my whole number because quantity will always remain a whole number then price will be currency 
amount will be currency and this will be percentage that's it so now we need a couple of columns based on the date so i'll select the date column on the add date add column tab i'll select month name name of the month it will insert the name of the month and then i need a week v column week of the month and then i need week of the year so i could just simply select the date column and go in the date section and select week of the month and week of the year so this way i just inserted the month name week of the month week of the year so simple as that so i don't need the full month name i'll simply slip, uh, split the column by number of characters by three and left as far as possible this is it so i will just rename the column month name and that's it so now we have everything ready for us and i will simply go on home tab and close and load it will take a moment and uh, we'll fetch all the information in this table and once it uh, fetches all the uh, information right in here we'll have the data which we can simply just format once more here select all the columns and then simply apply the formatting so now we have this thing ready and we can simply go and insert pivot table and uh, do whatever the reporting we want to do and create charts or whatever so as you can see it goes all the way till the 2nd of january as i have only two reports in here so what i'll do is i'll bring two more days in here simple this is just raw basic data let me show you as you can see this is totally raw and basic data and i'll just come in here right click refresh and it will fetch me the information for the files i just inserted as you can see now it has 3rd of january and at the end it has 4th of january so this is how it works you only have to do the cleaning for once and then just simply drag and drop the files inside let me know if you have any questions and uh, please do subscribe to my channel thank you so much